Good day guys. Welcome to our Maths is Made Easy with teacher Satya Yar. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys on how to find an unknown length when triangles are similar. Make sure you watch the entire video to have a better understanding of this topic. Now let's get to it guys. So triangles will be similar to each other only when its matching sides are proportional and its matching angles are equal. All right, guys. So let's take this understanding and solve a question. So in these two triangles, they are telling us to find the length of XV. All right, guys. So step number one, what we are going to do is we are going to name the triangles. The reason we are going to name the triangles is so that we can find its matching sides. All right, guys. So in the left hand side triangle, we are going to go from the circular angle right here, which is H and going towards the right angle, which is F. And the last one will be G. Similarly, in the smaller triangle we are going to go from the circular angle which is w going towards the right angle which is x and the last will be v so we are naming this triangle so we exactly know that our length hf is matching with wx fg is matching with xv and gh is matching with vw all right guys now, from these triangles, we can also see that our triangle WXV is a reduction of triangle HFG. All right, guys. So we are going to take one pair of its matching sides and find the scale factor. All right, guys. So in order to find the scale factor, it is the length of the scale diagram over the length of the original now we see that we know wx in the smaller triangle and we also know the length of hf in the bigger triangle right guys so we can find its scale factor by taking wx over hf now our wx is 2 and hf is 10 Therefore, 2 over 10 is 0 0.2. That means the scale factor is 0 0.2. In other words, we can say that triangle WXV has become 0 0.2 times the size of triangle HFG. All right, guys. Now, in order for us to find the length of xv first we are going to find its matching side so xv is matching with fg right guys right here now we know that fg is equal to 20 centimeter now what we are going to do is we are going to take the length of fg which is 20 and multiply with the scale factor which is 0.2 and 20 multiplied by 0 0.2 is equal to 4 centimeter. Therefore, our xv is equal to 4 centimeter. And just to make sure if our answer is correct, we can find the scale factor. All right, guys. So the scale factor of xv over f g should give us 0 0.2 right guys so just now we found that xv is equal to 4 and our xv is equal to 20 and 4 over 20 is 0 0.2 right guys therefore our answer is correct and that is how we would find the missing length in similar triangles if you did enjoy this video do not forget to hit on the like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future maths videos until next time guys have a nice day